Good job, buddy. You're doing a good job feeding yourself this morning, son. My goodness. Good job, Janice. <laughs> Folks, look at this dude. This dude is some kind of spoil. He's, he's got his iPad watching his ABC songs. Got Janice here helping him out, but he's starting to feed himself. But that spaghetti's a little messy for us, G. My goodness. Is that good? <laughs> Look beautiful this morning, honey. My goodness, especially when you when you use that broom. My goodness. Only thing. The only thing that's more sexy with my wife on the broom is when she gets that mop. I love it when she mops the floors. Oh, you, you can't mop because you don't have a cleaner. Well, I can give you some money. You can go to the Sorry Sorry store. <laughs> now, folks, they're not celebrating because they can go buy some cleaner. Uh, they're celebrating because they're going to buy something. Something to eat. I got a great idea, honey. Why don't you use your your money and Janice's money? money? I don't have money. No, 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 no money. Baby, I know you got a secret stash in the closet. We all know go, this. Go, 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 go in the closet. Go check. Check in my luggage. Check in my no. Check in my no. Hey, I don't have money. I don't have money. Okay, what that tells me is the secret stash is not in the luggage, it's not in the closet. That means it's, it's either in the CR or it's in the kitchen. Go! You're free! These ladies are hiding the secret stash somewhere. No! I already buy the other What? I already, buy already, already the time that we yap yap. The time. The time you not give that. The time that we come take the coins in there. The time. Of course, G. Oh my goodness. How is that spaghetti, buddy? Is that good spaghetti? I'm not even going. 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 This boy needs a shower, ladies. <laughs> My goodness, take that dude straight to the shower. Oh, drink first. This one more. Ha, Han! Han, I barbecue. Kaya punta ka bici. Ano kaya ikaw? Wala kami. Ano kaya Can you ladies translate what the cheesemus is you're talking about? I tell to Ati Carla, <laughs> bring, bring food because I'm hungry. We don't have food. <laughs> oh, PG. Ladies. I said the hands like you do barbecue. We go in. We go in there because. <laughs> See these ladies, folks. They tell everybody that we don't we don't have food. Joke lang, oi. We just okay. we just make joking at the Carla. But I want you to look at the at the at, at the at the tummies and the booties, and that tends to indicate that these ladies do a lot of eating. Ow! Do you I think, think this lady has ever missed a meal? No. Folks, look at these ladies. These ladies looking beautiful today. My goodness. Got some motorbikes coming through here. Going down and have a little barbecue at my buddy's house. And ladies, you both wore blue today. 
People are gonna start thinking you're twins. Folks, they're like they're like Forrest and Bubba. BFF, best friends forever. And Forrest, she's got a red shirt on today. His hair is starting to curl. His hair curls just like his sister Maria's, just like when I was a baby. My son. Hair gets long, they got we all got curly hair. Anyhow, folks, we're gonna head down here and have a little barbecue. Just cook out and hang out with friends. I want to thank everybody for joining us on this video. And I'm not sure where the hell this water comes from. I don't know if they... I don't know, because I don't remember it coming to rain last night or this morning. I don't know if they purposely do this to keep the dust down. But it's just not good for walking down through here. It's better to walk over on the beach. Better to enjoy the beach anyhow. The views of the beach. All right, now we got a better angle on the dangle. Got this thing properly extended. I usually never, when I'm using the GoPro, I never ex use it on a, on a pole. Like right now, I've got this thing extended, so it brings a lot of attention to yourself. But on the GoPro, I never did that. I would just hold it on a pole right in front of my face. It's got such a wide angle lens. But with this RX100, we've got a birthday going on. I gotta put it on, on this extend the pole. Hi, Demai, can you see yourself in the camera? Hey, you're gonna get shy again? Huh. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Very good, baby. That's very good. Alright, so thanks for joining us on today's barbecue. If you're not a subscriber, hit that overstay road sign in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And get on board my train. Matter of fact, if you subscribe to my channel, I will dance at your wedding. Alright folks, we're chilling over here at Kevin's. We've got a bottle of Jim Bean we brought to the fight. But I bought this cheap bottle of, uh, well, no, uh, cheap is uh, subjective. Let me, I bought a bottle of wine, Carlo Rossi, pink Moscato. Now folks, I love Moscato. When I was over in wine country in Temecula hanging out, I fell in love with uh, Moscato Spumante. It's like a bubbly wine, whatever. Um, but I was surprised this thing actually has a cork on it. I take the end of us when I go there and spend the night, you know, and it's got a knife, it's got a yeah. cork through and a couple bottle openers. That's all we need right there, brother. The so folks, look at these ladies. These ladies finna throw down on some food. Yeah, folks, I'm not used to, I'm not used to a bottle of wine with a cork in it. I'm used to either just screwing off the lid or... You know, it's in a box. So this Carlo Rossi right here, that's an expensive bottle of wine for me because it's got a cork in it. Right, folks, here we go. Let's see if I can get a tune out of this trombone. Boom! Pines, look down in there. Yeah! Folks, we'll fire this up here. Once it hits my, my fire starters in there, it'll go. Welcome to Kevin's world. Folks, welcome to Kevin's kitchen. This place is too cool. Check out those exhaust fans up there. Yeah, the place is dirty, my God. Folks, now this is a kitchen. I mean, I want you to check it out. He's got everything in here. When I brought my ladies over here and showed them his kitchen, they, they just fell in love. Because why? Because they, they love to eat. You come to my place, you know, we, we ain't got much in the ref at all. And it's because I'm a minimalist. But, you know, Kevin's lived here a long time, so he's had a long time to customize a place and collect stuff. And tell us about this grill, man. This is a, this is a gas grill yeah, by... Yeah, this is Techno Gas. Okay. Uh, it's made in Italy. It's really a... Uh, I, I had them back 40 years ago. I don't know why they don't sell them Techno Gas. Technique. Techno gas technique, okay? 
Yeah, What's folks. nice about it okay. is up here you can see I got a rotisserie that goes inside. And put this down. Okay, and there's a motor back there. And right. you can put a chicken in there and rotisserie as well. So it's an automatic rotisserie. Yeah. Cool. And the three burner I kind of like better than the four because you got well, they're different sizes. You got a big huge one, but the four burner are all the same size. It well, was uh, twenty thousand. Twenty thousand. That's about four hundred U.S. But folks, that's awesome. That's a yeah, good sturdy, heavy duty, man. That's, that's heavy duty cast, uh, iron. cast iron grates. I mean, man, that's that seems to be perfect for cooking with cast iron, man. And heavy duty. So, folks, his kitchen is on time. He's gonna show us something here uh, with this onion. This onion. The way I'm going to do it, you can go back to the year 2000 in Yak, Montana. It's in the Yak, Montana cookbook. Okay? What I do is I take a couple sheets. I'm going to need some more. A couple sheets of aluminum foil. This is very simple. I used to make these and put in my backpack when I went backpacking up in the mountains. And all you need is some aluminum foil, aluminum foil, a good onion, and whatever your favorite uh, uh, cube, your flavor cube is. In this case, I'm going to use a beef. So two sheets of tin foil, one, one beef cube, one beef cube, and a big one, old big old onion. 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 Normally, I cut the ends off and then I peel it. If you're really good, you can get it in one swipe. Okay, what I normally do is I peel an onion, get some beef cube, or whatever kind of cube you like, you get chicken or pork. Okay, and I'll quarter this up real quick. Okay, now I'll take the onion. This is, this is kind of important because you don't want to cut yourself. Okay. And you just put the knife in, and then you twist the onion, not the knife. See how I'm doing that? All right, just twist the onion. Put, yeah, and then you twist it, and you cut it, the center out of the onion right on through yes I'm using a wooden board underneath so it kind of holds it steady and then you just put it in there and you cut and then you push this out there you go Boom. now you got the center yeah all right all right so Pretty got, a, got a hollow onion and you just set it in the center take a little bit of your onion Put back in there. All right, a little bit of beef cube. Put in there some more onion. Okay, just punch it down inside that hole. So one piece of onion, then one piece of beef cube. And a little piece, a quarter of a beef cube, a little piece of onion, just like that. Uh, and some more beef cube. Keep pushing it in there. Okay, a little bit more onion. Try to use up what you took out of the center. Okay. Another piece of beef cube. And a little bit of top. Top it off with some onion. If I can get it in there. That would work great. Alright. Okay. Then you know like, like a Hershey Kiss. Everybody knows what a Hershey Kiss is. Right. But that's where you wrap these. So you take the... You wrap it up just like a Hershey kiss. Leave a little bit on the top. Now I've got the silver this way, now I flip it over. I put the silver on the inside, do the same thing. Just like a Hershey kiss. Okay. Now we go out to the grill, we'll put this on the grill, and we'll spin it around a little bit, or fireside, if you're on the camping out there. You put this in your backpack, mm -hmm. you put it down there, and you cook it until it's soft. All right. And then you got a beef-flavored onion. Mmm. That sounds absolutely delicious. The only thing I'm thinking about is I might stuff some butter in there, too. You can stuff whatever you want in there. I just let you know you can season it. 
You can do anything, but uh, don't add salt. No salt. No salt because that that beef cube is salty enough. Okay. Don't don't stay off the salt with that. Uh, there you go, folks. There so I'm <laughs> I'm looking forward to see so how to do. Simple. Even yeah. Kevin can do it. So what do you call this, man? Is this an onion kiss? Just, what? Uh, I don't know. Uh, cubed onion. I don't know. It looks like a Her it looks like a Hershey's it kiss. So we 20 years ago when I put it in the cookbook. So this was in the official Yak Montana. Yak Montana 2000 cookbook. It's in there. You can find one. Can you find those on Amazon or yeah, where can you find them? It's been a while. It's got like 700 recipes for everybody in the act. I had two recipes in there. I had this one. I had a, uh, a recipe to wash your hands. Mm-hmm. So, welcome to my madness. It's it's come up a lot during this uh, pandemic. I was able to hang a whole bunch of this stuff up. I love my cast iron, and, and uh, this is okay. I'm on the beach. This is paradise to me. Folks, what I was telling Kevin is that this setting right here. I mean, it's a beautiful backdrop for for an award-winning cooking show. Way. All right. Okay. I had a a metal box made. There's a deep fat fryer inside of here. And a microwave, and I'm gonna I'm I've got some shells coming in. I'm gonna reshell all this. Then the other day when uh, I had one one of these here drop off during an earthquake. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, folks. If you didn't see my previous video, we got woken up on Christmas morning to uh, to an earthquake. Yeah, about eight o'clock in the morning, it started shaking. I I went to the CR because that's the safest place to be. When the earth starts shaking, you need as much protection around you. Your CR is where to go. And so you had some of this stuff fall off the wall. I had one one fall off. That was it. I can always tell by my good old Tabasco bottle. Mm-hmm. Because it, once it starts moving back and forth, I know something's wrong. Yeah, I try to collect a little bit of, you know, I like spicy stuff. It's it's really been a really good kitchen. I got ventilation. I, I got a hat a little leak. We had to fix the ceiling. Got two vents up there just to pull this out. I mean, what a, what a great vent hood right there. Uh, there's some there's some things I need to change. Some, no I'm man, great, this place is awesome. A, I have a great landlord, and this is very important. Having one of these? <laughs> yeah, this this here and this uh, freezer. You got a freezing There's unit here. Eight eight cubic foot freezer here. Let me tell you, this sucker through this pandemic saved me because I had frozen food in there and I was ready. So you just sat back and barbecued yeah, and cooked. Fine. Okay, lock lock the gate and leave me alone. Yeah. <laughs> so. All right, cool, folks. Well, man, thanks for showing us the. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna call this onion. The the yak, the yak onion kiss. It's got to come up a, with a good name. It's a treat. Yeah. It's an onion treat. Okay, and it's so simple. You try. You can flavor it up the way you want. Put it in there. We'll see today. Just spin it around until it gets soft, and then watch these ladies eat it up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Folks, got these ladies sitting out here. Got our buddy Kerr on the scene. What's happening, man? You having a good Christmas? Yeah, quite a bit. Good. Pretty good? You or you were probably working, right? Yes. He's probably working. Well, I shared dinner back home during Christmas dinner. You did? All right, awesome, brother. Well, good to see you, man. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Folks, we got these three ladies sitting out here acting like queens out here. My goodness. Ladies, ladies, ladies. Did you ladies say you wanted a manicure and a pedicure? I'm going to call my lady Brenda from over in San Cedro. I want the extensions. They want the, what, the extensions? <laughs> but if you get the extensions, how are you going to wash dishes, baby? Extension five feet more. Yeah, if you get the big... 
<laughs> Folks, when Filipinos start high fiving one another, there is something sinister going on. I don't know what they figured they figured out, but they're telling secrets and high fiving each other. Something is going down here. <laughs> ladies, ladies, if you get the nail extensions, how are you gonna how are you gonna clean the wash the dishes? <laughs> you gotta wash the dishes, bit ladies. By the feet. Oi, Oh, oh, wait a wait a minute. I, wait, we have a pasalubong for uh, Ate Carla. Oh, oh, where? Hold on, we got pasalubong. Passing a bone? No, not passing a bone. Passing a bone. Passing a lubong. Now listen. Okay. All right, let me just tell you the story. Well, I got a little bad. I'll just give it to you. The story got to go. Here you go, baby. Merry Christmas. Oh, my goodness. See? <laughs> Folks, it's you didn't give her no skin whitening, did you? Well, it's only for the underarms, though. Oh, it's, it's a skin whitening underarm hair remover. Now listen, I banned the skin whitening, but we got these free from my friend up on the beach. They got a little company. Straight up crazy. Straight up pandemonium with these ladies. What are you drinking, baby? What? Water. Why? 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 Water. Why? 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 Well, check it out. Okay, what do we got in the sauce, uh, ladies or Kevin? What kind of sauce we got in here? For the viewers? I have no it's idea. a ketchup with oil, with garlic, with sugar, mm. uh, with Soy sauce, soy sauce in there too? Yes. All right, that looks delicious. Whatever you got going on there. Oh, <laughs> ladies are so excited. They love to cook. Ladies, can I ask you a question? Not mat, mat is a dangerous question. Oh, no, no dangerous. No, it's just a question like, okay, every time I've tried to buy a, a Christmas gift for a Filipina, right? My ladies always say, just buy food. I say, do you want to get them this, that, they're, no, buy some food. So what, the, qu the question is, the question, <laughs> ladies, I haven't asked the question yet. Oh yeah, you asked the question now. Okay, if somebody wants to buy a, a good gift for his Filipina, right? What is the best gift that a Kano could buy for his Filipina? What's the best gift? Uh, for me? <laughs> you buy me. <laughs> you buy me, ano? <laughs> iPhone, ano? <laughs> Ooh, she going with the oh, iPhone, God. man. I don't do phones. I, I already gave her. I gave her a phone. Yung mga yung may tatlong camera. I gave her a phone. She gave it to her brother. My son. 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 Okay, now Kevin. I don't know if you heard him over all the noise, but he said he gave her a phone and she gave it to her son. Folks, that is another thing that you'll be frustrated with when you give your Filipina. 
some type of phone or gadget or whatever and they give it to their family member they that's part of it that's part of it I've given Filipinas so many phones through over the years and they gave it to their mother or their sister or their kuya or their ate that's part of the course okay Janice Janice what's the best gift the best gift that that's that someone could ever give you what Gusto ko yung ano, gusto ko yung iPhone, bag. Ay! Oh my god, Lumi ay dali. Ay! 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 Oh my god. Pardon me. What did you say, baby? What's your answer to the question? The best gift anybody could ever give you. iPhone, bag, na yung imported. <laughs> Original. Maganda yung maganda, maganda. What kind of bag? Yung Gucci. Oh, oh, Gucci. Oh, you Michael, uh, Michael Cars. Yes. Tapos <laughs> Mayaman. Mayaman yung pig. So yun, mayaman. <laughs> Ladies, I heard iPhone, I heard imported bag, and I heard Gucci. Yeah, Gucci. Uh, Michael, I don't want uh, I have already one Michael. Honey, listen, I brought you, I brought you a very expensive purse from America. You don't even use it. You want to sell that? You want to sell that? You want to sell that? I'm not going to sell it. I'm going to, I'm going to take her purse. I'm going to give it to Janice and see if Janice carries it. I'm going to re-gift that purse. Ate, ate want whitening skin. You heard that, Kevin? That's my wish. Ano? The whitening set. Wait for me, ha? Bigyan ka niya uling. Your wish. Your wish is my command. Ladies, you know what I'm going to buy you? What? What? Okay, this is the... I think this is the best gift for the Filipinas. I'm going to buy you guys a tanning bed. Ay, ano ba yan? Ano yan? You can lay in the tanning bed every day. Yeah, that's a great gift. Yeah, hey, suck that whitening right out of her skin. That's it. Oh, check out these ribs. Mm. Now, folks, I'll be honest with you. If you tried to sell tanning beds here in the Philippines, you'd be bankrupt before you even got here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because nobody will buy the tanning cream. Filipina wants to get white. Oh, white. Folks, you see the stress I'm under here. I gotta go back to drinking. I've only drank about half this bottle of wine. I gotta kill this bottle of wine and get into this gym bean. These ladies are stressing me out. I'll be honest with you. These, these, they're putting too much stress on me. Mm. Okay. Okay. What can I do? Ladies, Kevin brought up a good He brought up a good point. Filipinas don't even carry purses. Why would you want an expensive purse? Filipinas don't care about expensive things. This this is a Filipinas purse right here. This is a Filipino Gucci. They want a Gucci, but nobody carries a purse. That's why I stay in my corner, you know. I just stay in my corner. Well, she see the stress we're under here. Man. I need space. We're gonna get some space when me and me and Kevin go down to Thumb Star. They'll still be here barbecuing and running their mouth. I'll be at Thumb Star. Oh! 
Yeah, when I ask you ladies, what was yeah, the best gift? Yeah, yeah, yeah. for these women. The best gift that anybody could give you. I thought one of you would say, yeah, just yeah. your attention and your love, Marcos. Or, you know, 4SG was the best gift I've ever gotten. What, what? The priority is iPhone, then... Yeah, that's true. iPhone, Gucci. We want that, but most of all, <laughs> it's you. It's you. Kevin. That's that. You first. You, you're, most of all, it's you and Kevin. But, but, baby, yeah, but, but, but baby, when I asked a question, nobody said anything about me or Kevin. No, you're the best. You're, you're the best. Oh, oh, I need space. I need space. <laughs> Tagay, tagay. Okay. You, you ladies are causing me so much stress. I, I might go to the ABC Hotel tonight. Wow. Together? I've been there before. You go party with, I know you party with Kevin. I know how to get there. You bring Kevin and we party here at home. <laughs> <laughs> you take Kevin to ABC Hotel and party with Kevin. We stay here. Oh, party, party. party. <laughs> Shit, bro, that's the best deal I've heard all day, man. Let's go. Let's roll, man. You can't. You just, baby, you just threw, you just threw a rabbit in a briar patch. You don't even know. End of the year deal. That's I'm giving it. you space. You go to ABC Hotel with Marcos. That's done. Done. Let's shake on it. The ladies are gonna stay here and party, and me and Kevin are going to ABC to hit the Key Lorraine, get some margaritas. As easy as one, two, three. Bill, bill. <laughs> I'm not paying the no bill. Okay. <laughs> the bill. Don't worry, girls. We have lots of beer in Dano. Give me that air. They want beer. We have lots of beer there. <laughs> pag wala ta we have pulutan. <laughs> pag wala tayong pangbayin, kung bayin mo mga boti. Desa na sa junction. Yung boti ni Kim. <laughs> They're not scared at all to stay here because he's got three freezers full of food, beer. They never leave. So me and him said, hey, we're going to go to Angeles uh, ABC Hotel. They're like, go, mother, go. You got plenty of beer and food. They, they would never leave this place. Get them beer and food. Yeah, they got beer and food. They ain't going nowhere. If I do my wife, you stress me. Oh, also, I, to my sailor friends out there, I want you to know these are, I don't know, 30 years old. Everybody knows what these are. And they, they don't work here. Those are BCDs. These are, these are birth control BCDs. And they don't work here. You still hanging on to your BCDs, man. These are what they call BCDs, birth control device. This is a birth control device that does not work in the Philippines. Everybody in the Navy knows what these are. Yeah. They just don't work. Got Janice rocking that live sportsman's girl. Looking beautiful today. And she's actually wearing uh, Fatima shorts. And them shorts look better on Janice than they do Fatima. All right, so he's gonna show them how to tell if the meat's done, right? Okay. Okay. And you kind of peel it up. Uh-huh. Look like that. Is it pink? Is it pink? No, it's not it's pink. Still a little pink. Oh, no, it's not. See that? Okay. Yes, that. You want it? You want it? Wow. Okay. okay. It's still a little pink. See that? Okay. You gonna cook it some more? Cook some more, ladies. Cook it some more. Cook some more, ladies. You know when you open it up and it's pink? I don't know. Ah, face ko lang yung Yeah, you gotta you gotta cook that pork. Pati pala yung pork pink. We got some adult humor going on here. Baby, do a chicken wing for us, ready? Go. Chicken wings, chicken wings, we do the deer. Chicken wing. <laughs> Listen, the, 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 you gotta finish the song. Do the chicken wing. Chicken wing. <laughs> we do the chicken wing. 
Do the Divi Mart. Do the Divi Mart. What's going on? Wait a minute. What's going on over here, Kevin? Look at that. It's like piranhas. That got three piranhas on a piece of meat. Ladies. Ladies, so are, <laughs> did you want to wait for us to well, eat? We just try. We try. We taste because baby, if it has poison, we die first. <laughs> oh my! Oh my goodness! So you are safe. It's okay. No poison. No poison. Just keep my smoked cheese away from them. My goodness, folks. There won't even, there's not even going to be any, like, everybody get together, say the blessing, have a formal meal. Because these Filipinos are going to eat everything. Look at Fadima. Fadima, baby. Hey. Baby, ease off, ease off. Let the ladies get a piece. Let let, let everybody else take a piece. Put it into this. I can put it into this real quick. Oh, yeah. Huh? I need a beer. <laughs> ladies, ladies, let's let's all have a nice meal together. Not you guys just sit here and nibble all the meat. We just testing the taste. <laughs> Honey, nobody can understand you because you got a whole pork rib in your mouth. I taste. How's it taste though? Good. Is it good? But, or... I know. <laughs> but what? A small piece. I want to a big piece to taste. You want a big piece? Yeah. Okay. What's was he drinking? Oh. Honey, you can't. Later he drunk. If she drinks that wine, I'm going to be on her ass. Uh -huh. Pandemonium. Listen, listen. Let's not. We're just gonna stand here and eat all the meat in front of everybody. We're trying to say that who's gonna get the small or big piece? He said he's gonna get the big piece. I told you, piranhas. I know. He's so hungry. See, see, see. Jan see? Janice, baby. He got two ribs. We got I guess one, it's one. Chicken for you and me. I guess me and, me, and, me, me and Kevin gonna eat that bird because these ladies gonna eat all that pork. Mm hmm. Look at that chicken going down. I'll take that chicken. Right now, I'm not hungry. Yeah, let me tell you about the dumpy tanu pa. Okay, Kevin. I don't want to meet him. Sigi lang be. I got these ribs from uh, Fresh Options. And, I, and I'll be honest with you, the, the ribs I've got from Fresh Options are usually pretty damn good. Honey, do you want to eat some ribs or the chicken? Ribs. The ribs? Yeah, ribs. Bye. Bye. I want a fuck ugly slut with a bad drinking problem and a jealous old man in jail. <laughs> So ugly she cracked a mirror and so fat you knock a needle off the scale. Yes, don't need sage. Yes, don't need space. I need space. I need the space. Give me a ukulele, I will play some. If you need some space, baby, let me know. I'll go down to wow. Star Barcelona. I go to Angeles City. <laughs> you need some space, that's good for me. Not you! <laughs> I'll give you some space, baby. Mmm. Oh, this girl so good to me. Oh, me up, Scotty. Well, I like my turban. You can have that fancy sour man. Is he bigger than me? So, Carla, I was just asking the question. Why did you decide to cut your hair? I cut my hair when my heart is broken. Oh my god! When I broke my heart, I cut my hair. That's what well, happened. Well, quit breaking your heart. If somebody asks me, he needs space. I need space. Okay, so if you see a Filipina, if you see a Filipina with yeah, short hair, oh, oh, oh. it's a good sign that she could be broken-hearted. Broken oh, oh, that's 
much. Yeah, so, you know what she told me? She told me her butt's getting bigger. And yeah. you know what Kevin said when the old lady cut? The lady get old, they cut their hair. And her butt gets bigger. <laughs> but my most belief is when somebody gets heartbroken, they surely need some transportation. <laughs> transportation. Transformation pala. Transformation. So, so you transform yourself to short hair. Uh oh. oh. So let me take a look at my wife here. Look how long her hair is. When she, you broke her heart, she so hasn't I'm not broke. <laughs> she hasn't been broken hearted since old James. Maybe that's why. Long hair. I'm gonna give a big shout out to James, <laughs> Fadima's first boyfriend. He came. He told some lies. He ran away. Thank Run you, thank away. you, James. Shout out to James. You're broken hearted? No. Okay, go cut not. your hair, baby. Um, I'm not. Can I shave your head tonight? Hi, you shave my head. No, folks. If you'll check it out, all they want to go with their their meat is some rice. No mashed potatoes and gravy with some beans, baked beans, potato salad, coleslaw. Nope. Only this. Oh my gosh, they got rice. As long as they got rice, that's all they need. How's that food, ladies? Good. Always good. Only good or delicious? It's delicious? That's not what's in there. Dude, I thought you were joking. Bitten, my God, no, you can't eat it. I thought he was so joking. Forbidden. It isn't beer. It isn't beer. It isn't beer. It isn't beer. God Almighty, titties and beer. <laughs> Who don't love titties and beer? Who hashtag me too? Titties. But I was sitting around thinking, drinking about things, bitching about old Tom and his American drink. Beer after beer, a shot after shot, the more I put down the Is that cold for? See, life is real simple when you That's cold for. Men need a few things, can't live without it. It's titties and beer, yeah, we got that covered. Thanks a good Lord, don't sing for me. Titties and beer. Titties and beer. Folks, here's the the onion. Why is it cheese? It's like a it's like a Christmas present. No, don't get that. Still juicy. Oh yeah, got that's some juice I, up in there. That's why I double wrap. Man, that's smelling delicious, brother. No, that is smelling no, absolutely no. delicious. Yeah, no, no, it smells delicious. Folks, he, he basically made the best onion soup you've ever tasted in your life inside that, that tin foil right there. Go ahead, take a taster, man. Take a taster, tell us how it is. I'll be on the camera. Let me tell I'll you, take I a taster ready. Taste. How is it, brother? Mm. Mm. Delicious? That'll knock you down. <laughs> Go knock you down? That'll knock you down, bro. Give me, give me. Mmm. My God, that's delicious. <laughs> Kevin, brother, that is absolutely delicious. It's almost like it's so simple. It's so simple, but it's almost like you made the best onion soup 
that you took, you know, a, lo a lot of effort. I backpack with that all the time. Oh, hey, you're throwing your backpack. Go. Put it. You know what? There was a time I was going down the highway in Montana, and I put one on the intake manifold of my car, my truck. I'm going down there, and it's heating on the intake manifold. Fatima, did you try the onion, baby? Take a take a taster, baby. Take a taster. And I'm thinking about renaming you Pocahontas. We go to we go to Montana. You're gonna be Pocahontas. Everybody gonna think you from the uh, the Blackfeet Reservation, baby. Mmm. -hmm. Yeah. How's it taste? Good? No good or delicious? That's delicious. When I first arrived here in the Philippines, I flew in the Clark Air Base. So I think it was Tigers. Okay, they got a bus. They got a bus that runs between the two bases once a day. So I get on the bus to Clark, and I'm heading towards Subi. So they stop there. Uh, I'm trying, I can't even pronounce the name of that town. De, De Perdera? De, De La Lupia. There. Okay, where the cockfight the, arena at is. At the cockfight arena there today. The the highway goes up, and yeah. you can look down and you can see it. That's where the bus used to stop for a for a CR. You use a CR. We pull in there, jump off. Wow, I'm in my blues. It's hotter than hell, man. Son of a bitch. This is in June of 1975. Uh, excuse me, 79. Holy shit, hot! So I jump off, they had a barbecue stand. I use the, the, the bathroom, the head. Okay, and I come out and they had a barbecue stand there. I got three sticks of barbecue, pretty nice sticks, and two beers. And all I had was a $5 bill. I didn't have no pesos. So I gave him $5 here. I was happier now. Three sticks of barbecue and two beers. Got on the bus. They let us drink on the bus. Got on the bus eating a barbecue, drinking San Miguel beer. Heading to Subic Bay, Philippines, my friend. First time I have ever been there. I never been to Subic before. Hell yeah. So we pull in. Get off. I got off right there. Uh, the bus stopped in front of the base theater. And that's where you get up. Then I had to drag my damn sea bag all the way over to the BEQ uh, BEQ manager's office. So I drag my over there. I'm in my blues, my little white Dixie cup. Hot, man. I drag my damn sea bag over there. Put it down. Oh, you have to go to Barracks 2 because it was a Friday. Barracks 2 was the transit barracks. And where they house the sea bees, which is now, I can show you pictures, and I'll, I'll, I'll send you some if you want, uh, 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 International Hotel. Okay. So I, I go to over there to the main barracks. They said, you, you got to go over to barracks too. Okay. They gave me a room number. I go to barracks too, so on the second floor. And then barracks is like, you got all these rooms and only one CR. All right, so I walk in, I unlock the door, I walk in, and, and it was, I think it was Friday before, it was like a Friday. I walk in and there's two guys that are in there and they're playing cards. There's four guys to the room, but only three of us in it. They say, hey, pick your locker, here's a couple, couple places, you know, bunks. Pick your locker, pick your bunk. So I went in there, I threw all my stuff in there, I changed into my uniform of the day, which is dungarees. I say, hey, where's the chow hall? They told me. So I go down to chow hall and I ate. I had to use my orders. Show them my orders, yes, we'll feed you, okay. I go back to the room. I walk in and these guys are still playing cards. I'm like, hey, how you doing, man? They're like, hey, how you doing? I, have you ever been here before? They said, no. I just flew in. I've never been to the Philippines before. <laughs> and they, they looked at each other and they like, you never been here before? I said, no, I was East Coast sailor, man. I did four years out of Norfolk, Virginia. And now I'm in 
two week bay Philippines because I had a buddy of mine that was a Filipino on board ship and said, go to Subic, man, go to Subic. <laughs> so, so here I am. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, uh, 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 um, they started you know, like this. They buddied up to me and they said, look, our payday's Monday. We ain't got no money. Oh, there, I, I kind of looked at them like, okay, uh, you lend us $20 a piece <laughs> and we'll take you out in town. I'm like, wow, 20 bucks a piece, man, you, I don't know. Oh yeah, all you gotta do is lend us 20, take 20, throw the rest in your locker and we'll take you out in town. Put your civilian clothes on. <laughs> so I put my civilian clothes on and I lend them both 20 bucks and they're like, they're gonna take me across this bridge which I had no idea what it was or what it was about, which they did. They walked me out the gate across the bridge, and then what we do, I'm, I'm going nuts. Look at this place. People everywhere. <coughs> we walk across the bridge and made a right on Gordon Avenue. Walked down about a half a block, maybe longer, and there was a little bar there. So we go inside, and they said, yeah, man, these are the bar. We, but before we cross the bridge, we exchange our money at the gate. He said, this is where you exchange your money. I got 7.65 pesos to a dollar. That's 100, 154 pesos, I think it was, for a $20 bill. Okay, stuff it. I didn't know what pesos were. I stuck in my pocket. That's what we, we all three got it. We go on out, we go down to this bar. First bar uh, on Gordon, it wasn't the first one, the one Gordon on the right. Small little place, had a jukebox, uh, uh, and some girls. And all of a sudden the girls are like magnet on me, like, man, oh, you're so cute. You look like you. And these guys, they were something. Uh, the girls, she's asking me questions, you buy me drinky. Okay, so I bought her a drink. Cute little gal, I liked her. Wow, okay, this is pretty crazy. And these guys, they knew that I was never been there before. They treated me like a, 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 a like bait. <laughs> you know, I was their bait. So the girls come up, they said, oh, what ship you off of? I said, what's your name, what ship you off of? And stuff like that it was like the first things out of their mouth. I said, my name is Kevin. And I'm not opposite. Oh, I said, no, I, I'm stationed here. Oh, it was like I said the wrong word. They all left. They all just got up and left. They didn't want nothing to do with the station guy. <laughs> <coughs> I told them, guys, what the hell did I say wrong? Oh, you didn't say that wrong. You didn't say that wrong. They just don't know how long you've been here. So they take me down to all these bars. We went back up to McSide's High. Hit all these bars on big, I couldn't even hear. You go into bars, you can't hear the music so loud. Okay, and finally we go to some little bar, and they said, uh, well, we're about ready to drop you off. We got other things to do. Uh, which bar did you like the best? I said, the first one. So they take me all the way down to Gordon Avenue. I went in there, okay? And uh, d during that whole time, you know what they were doing? I go in a bar, they say, Cherry Boy, Cherry Boy. <laughs> and all these girls would flock around me. Then they found out I was stationed. Because I only been there like four hours. And <laughs> they would just, Phew! when all these guys were trying to, try to pick up the leftovers. <laughs> so, <clears throat> back to the first bar we go. And this girl, she come in. And I like her. She's pretty cute. Yeah, I like her. Oh yeah. Well, you, you know your way back to the base. I said, yeah, just out, make a left, and there's the bridge. Okay, and they left. Here I am, drink buying drinks with this girl. Okay. Um, she say, uh, you want, you want go with me? Hmm. I don't know what that means. Uh. <laughs> You pay my bar fine. My bar fine? What the hell's a bar fine? Are you a criminal? That's why I asked. I said, why are you in trouble? Why Why you get fined? 
I didn't know what a bar fine was. No, 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 you pay, I take you home. Okay, so I, she took me home. Man, I don't know where, we jumped in a trike, we went down some street, up and down another one, but it was on the second floor. I had to walk up the stairs and it was on the second floor. So I end up sleeping with this girl that night. I wake up in the morning, the chicken, the roosters are crowing, I can hear the trike ing, 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 because back then they only had two cycles. They don't have four cycle trikes like they did today. Ing, 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 ing. You hear this all over, and the yeah. roosters are crowing. I wake up, what the hell? I look over, I, I used to smoke with some cigarettes. I look over and there's a great big rat eating my damn cigarettes. <laughs> I go, holy shit. So I, I'm looking for my shoe and she's seen it. So she grabs a broom. She's chasing this damn rat all over the house trying to kill the son bitch. And I'm getting my clothes and I got the hell out of there. I ran down the stairs, okay, and I'm like, where in the hell am I at? I got, I got dressed, I ran down the stairs. Where in the hell am I at? I don't even know where I'm at. What? You know what saved my life? What's the trike driver. Yeah. So it says, how does trike driver save your life? Because he said three words. Gate, gate, gate. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, you. <laughs> I went over and jumped in this damn trike and gave me a ride to the gate. Well, I go back to the base and uh, the next day I had to check in so I had to check in so I grab all my stuff I go to check in they're gonna move me from the transit barracks which was barracks 2 on the second floor which is CB's I had the first floor okay over to barracks 8 brand new barracks okay you got a room in barracks 8 because you're stationed here all right so I go over there and they give me a room at barracks eight. I move my, I come back, open my door to barracks two, get my stuff out of the locker, and then two guys that I lend twenty dollars. They already checked out and gone. <laughs> Him too. I wasn't too happy. Yeah. They're gone. But I remember one thing: they were off the USS Midway. Right. The midway just pulled in. I, I didn't. I I really didn't get their last name or rates or anything like that. Okay, I my loss. I lost forty dollars. So I check into the new barracks. I have a friend of mine, uh, room two sixteen up there in barracks eight. It's, so I'm up there. And I, I ran into a good friend and we worked with. His name was Roy. Well, I went by. Ray, okay, him and I would go out, we'd say, I'm Roy, I'm Ray, we'd confuse the <laughs> girls. Right. Okay, no, he's Roy, I'm Ray. We would play that game with the girls and it messed them up. So, uh, we go out, and he took me to some places. About six months went by, and here comes the USS Midway again. Wow. Oh, the Midway pulled in. Well, Roy was, he was kind of a schemer, you know? Right. He, he kind of schemed. So, I said, hey man, and I told him the story about these guys. I said, them suckers robbed, robbed me for $40. Yeah, oh yeah, we'll get back at them. Well, how? I don't know how. So, USS Midway, they're playing a baseball tournament over at the ballpark at Ramey Field. We go over there and they had food, they had beer. He's yeah. like, we get there late. He's like, okay, just wait, wait, wait. So they ran out of beer. And we're sitting at a great big picnic table with all these Midway sailors. And they said, hey, man, somebody want to find get some beer? And me and old Roy, yeah. Huh. We'll, we'll find get you some beer, man, no problem. Okay, next thing you know, $20 bills are flying at us. We grab a big handful of them. Okay, yeah, we'll be right back with the beer. And out the gate we went. <laughs> out the gate you went. We went out. I had 60 bucks and so did he. $60 a piece. So you lost, you lost 40 
But you ended up getting getting your money back. Yeah. Off these midway dues. I I you know what? The only thing I can tell you is uh, sorry about you. <laughs> sailors and sailors, and they're gonna you know get even with sailors if they can. They will. And I did. <laughs> so so that was your introduction to the Philippines. Yeah, well, it was these two dudes, out. these two dudes on the midway, took you out, showed you around, but they basically lifted twenty bucks off of you a piece, and and that was your first night in the yeah. in the Philippines. Nineteen seventy nine, twenty dollars was a lot of money, man. Yeah. Hey, and then I'm, I'm nice enough to say, okay, let's go. They showed me around and then they ditched me, and then I come back and. They were gone. They knew. Oh, they knew what they were doing. They but knew what they were doing. They schemed it, and and uh, I schemed it. In the end, in the yeah. end, in the end, you got some free food and and uh, oh, yeah, night in the town. Night on the town. Shout out to the Midway, <laughs> the Midway sailors. Yes, yeah, they're they're Thank still you. they're, Thank st you. they're still you. looking for you, man. I'm sure. Keep looking. The Midway's in San Diego, if you don't know that. <laughs> them dudes are still saying, man, you remember them motherfuckers that we gave that money to to get that yeah. beer and they never come back? Never come back. My goodness, man. They still looking for you, That's brother. That's a true story. <laughs> what a great story, my friend. Well, you're welcome to share it. Well, thank you for sharing it with everybody because just like we were talking about, these stories like these are not going to be repeated with today's skinny jean wearing Call of Duty shithead generation. They're not going to be repeated. No. None, none, of, these, none of these wild stories. Nothing is going to replace what really was here then. It's not, not going to happen yet. Head back to the crib. Great time over Kevin's chilling and cooking and barbecuing. And I'm gonna tell you that onion was absolutely delicious. Absolutely delicious. But we're headed back to the crib. You know, I'm trying to be responsible through this Christmas season. So I, I told the ladies, we got to go home now. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going to Barrio Barreto. It ain't gonna be pretty. So they said, alright, let's go home. And you know what's better for me? Just go home, relax, enjoy the nighttime with my ladies and my Force G. But I do miss my ladies over at Barcelona. Shout out to them ladies at Barcelona. My goodness. I'll see you ladies soon. <laughs> Folks, I'm going to ask you one more time, if you're not a subscriber on my channel, the bottom right hand corner of your screen, hit that overstay road sign, get on board my train, food, beer, visas, bad behavior, big booties, beautiful women, a barbecue, and whatever the hell I want to do. Alright. Let's go. Just keep pro proceeding to proceeding forward, my friends. <laughs> Had a woman down for a second there. Passing lucky mics. If you're here on uh Blue, you need pretty much anything, you go to you go to Lucky Mics right there. They got all kind of stuff up in there. Ain't no lie. Right. Oh, not much happening. Not much happening here tonight on Beloit Beach. I think the only thing that was happening was over at my buddy Kevin's house. I think we, baby, we made shit happen tonight. Mm -hmm. There was nothing happening but us. I want to thank everybody for joining us. Baby, say thank you to all the subscribers. Thank you to all subscribers. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like you want to cut the video, but then you look ahead and you see people. You don't know what's going to be interesting and what's not going to be interesting. 
it's like the minute you cut the video, something interesting happens, you're like, shit. So I will keep rolling on the video. Cause I've been sitting here. This barbecue stand? No, there's no barbecue up here. I'm trying to figure out who's got the key to the condo, baby. I don't know. Uh, I don't know either. Who's got the key? Who's got the key? Uh, who's got the key? Baby, you got the key? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> we'll play a game of pocket pool and see who's got the key. It's you. How do you know it's me? Because you the one left the door. I don't remember that, baby. That was like hours ago. Because I've been sitting here. My God, we're coming through the mud. I don't know why we got mud over here. Why do we have mud, baby? I mean, look, I know dust is not a good thing, but this mud is worse than the damn dust. Don't put your shoes inside, huh? No. All right, folks, we're out of here. Peace out. We'll see you on the next one.